If you enjoyed musicals such as Cabaret or Rent, then Passing Strange should be next on your watch list. It's currently on at the Young Vic and in this video I'm gonna tell you my impressions and everything that you need to know if you plan to go and see this musical. Passing Strange is not a new musical. It was actually on Broadway in 2006, 2007, and it's taken all these years to actually make its London debut. This musical has received seven Tony Award nominations while it was on Broadway and won the award for the best book. It is written by Stu, who is a musician, and it's partially based on his own story, which makes it even more fascinating. And the story in general follows Stu or this character called the youth who is on his journey of self-discovery not only from the artistic perspective but also in terms of who he is as a person who he is as an african-american man in la also who he is in relationship to his mom as a son as a friend as a lover as a boyfriend all these big themes that pop into everyone's head when they hit certain age and the way that he copes with this is that he actually leaves la for amsterdam and berlin and this is all set in 80s so it is very vibrant the trends that are portrayed in Europe and just everything is a little bit over the top but at the same time there are very subtle and fragile moments in the show that make you understand that the youth is actually very young and very unprotected and ultimately lonely this is a storyline that is very skillfully told through amazing music and this music is maybe something that you're not really used to hearing in musical theater setting this is not a typical musical theater theater vibe and harmonies and all the jazz that you normally get but this is a very rock and in some cases actually a punk rock musical so it means loud music it means guitars it means a lot of drums it means some screaming at times and it means loud speakers in the theaters when it comes to music there are some really catchy tunes that you will catch yourself feeling inspired to dance but at the same time there are some really heavy stuff that can make you feel a little bit apprehensive and this is all part of the show. I really enjoyed how the story was told through all those different songs and it really felt like I'm watching something unique. Story and music are the basis of any good musical but what elevates it is really casting and Passing Strange has some amazing people in its cast including Giles Terrera. Maybe you're familiar with him as Aaron Burr in Hamilton. He was in the first and original cast of Hamilton in the UK and that is the role that he got his Olivia for. So he's in the role of the protagonist but just in the current age whereas Kieran Mon Francis is the youth or the younger version of Giles character and the two of them interact throughout the whole play without necessarily acknowledging each other but still in each other's presence and Giles character who is this more experienced person who knows how things ended up is kind of guiding the youth through this journey in a very gentle and observing way. Kieran is an amazing actor and singer and he embodies this character so well that he's so believable and the chemistry between him and Giles as this older version of himself is brilliant. Giles's voice is so smooth and soft and yet powerful at the same time and just listening to him performing some of the numbers sends shivers down your spine. The rest of the cast is also very vibrant, very involved, they are all playing multiple characters and this is really interesting to see especially when they're going to different places such as Amsterdam and then Berlin like the costumes are changed the vibe is changed I think like all of the stereotypes from these places in the 80s are very skillfully reflected and they're really fun and they provide some like really interesting elements to the story in some instances they are also running through the audience so that is also something that was just unexpected and very much on brand for this musical the set for this musical is fairly simple there are a few musicians on stage who are part of the band they don't necessarily get involved as much but sometimes they do say something or they sit next to the character and interact with them in that way otherwise there is pretty much a bare set with some projections at the back there is one camera that is at different times focused on different characters and this kind of adds like an additional layer to the story I think that there's been a trend of a lot of productions using cameras and well for some productions this is like core of what they are I feel like for Passing Strange even if they remove that element it will be equally vibrant and exciting 
exciting and interesting because it's about actors and the music and the story ultimately that really brings the energy to this musical rather than everything around it. I kind of really enjoyed that the set was really simple and that it didn't have a lot of changes and most of the focus was on actors and their interactions on stage. This was my first time at the Young Vic and I could not recommend this theatre more. It is a smaller and more intimate theatre but it also has a lovely outdoorsy area where you can sit and have some food and a drink and also there are plenty of spaces inside where you can just enjoy yourself before or after the show. In terms of the theatre it really fits well the production and what the production stands for and this was also reflected in the audiences who came to see it. So in terms of the environment of this show I think there is no better theatre in London that could host it. I don't think that these are necessarily trigger warnings but more things to be aware of so there are quite a few references to drugs, sex and also there are some really flashy and loud moments in the show and generally the show isn't the most gentle show that you can go and see. It's a bit more on the aggressive side in terms of the music and the loudness and I would say also the way that the story is delivered. This is offset with some more gentle and quieter and fragile moments but generally it is a very high energy, high intensity type of show that is ultimately telling a story about this young Ben on its journey of finding the real thing and self-discovery and that journey is never easy especially when you're following an artist who is looking for ways to express himself and is looking for these crazy experiences to give him something to write about and this all kind of circles back to his roots and family and his relationship with his mother and there is that also element of talking about grief, talking about family issues and family relationships. It is a well-rounded story about a character or what makes a man or breaks a man. My overall impressions are that this is a musical well worth seeing and my main reasons for it are Giles Terrera seeing him live is unmatched and I do think that he is one of the most talented actors of his generation. The second thing is that Passing Strange is slightly atypical musical and just bringing that rock and punk genre into musical theatre I really enjoyed. And the third reason is The Young Vic. I really love the theatre and I can't wait to go and see more shows there. If you're not convinced that Passing Strange is a musical that you should check out then maybe one of these five shows is the one that should be on your list.